Hey, welcome back everyone. In the previous video we were working with functions and we showed at the end of that video how our function could input values and in this video we're going to see how functions can output or return values. Alright, let's check that out. So I've still got this example going where I send my function hello a name or you know what what can be interpreted as a name by the pro the program and then it prints hello that name and hola that name and ni hao that name so uh, in this case name is the input and it should be a string and maybe we want to return something to the program like return uh, something to the main program like lines six seven and eight are the main program the function exists kind of in its own universe Remember, it does not execute, lines 2, 3, and 4 do not execute unless you call the function. So uh, what I mean by this is that maybe, um, for this example, let's say we want to return the length of the person's name. Okay, so we want, we, uh, get, uh, to set another way, we want our function hello to print hello, hola, ni hao, and return the uh, the length of a person's name. So what we can do is use what's called the return keyword. If I type return in, uh, or if I type return, you'll see that it lights up in blue. So return is another one of these keywords that we're seeing. And I want return to be in the function because I'm going to tell the function to return this value. So I needed an indent there. And return is usually at the end of the function, though uh, it doesn't have to be. So we're going to say return space. And then what what value, uh, you know, what, what thing do I want to return here? Well, in this simple example, I want to return, uh, let's say, the length of the person's name. So I'm going to say len uh, and then length of name like this and that will evaluate to you know a numerical uh, value also I could I could say something like um, uh, no, uh, yeah yeah let's just keep it like that sorry <laughs> so let's keep it like that and um, now so again I'm using this return uh, value uh, keyword to return the length of the name that I send it now Line eight is is outside of that function, if you recall, and uh, this is this is when I call the function for the first time. Now I can ask for that return value. So what I'm going to do is say um, number, give, just give some sort of variable name here. Number of um, of characters or chars. Amanda. Okay. Like this, and so let's dissect this a little bit. I'm I'm I've created a variable name, maybe not the the best variable name, but it's descriptive, right? <laughs> it's descriptive. Number of characters Amanda equals hello, and then I pass this input Amanda to my function. So what this is going to do is it's going to um, call this function hello with Amanda as its input. So Amanda comes up here, and Amanda now gets stored into the variable name, and then uh, then we print hello Amanda, hola Amanda, ni hao Amanda, and then we return from the function the length of Amanda, which is what six, yeah, six, and so and then outside of that, then we we ask for that return value this way, like. We assign the return value using the assignment statement operator, right? We assign the return value to this variable. So now number of chars Amanda will be equal to six. And we can do something similar like number of chars Tessa or something, like just some variable name. And then the Tessa will be equal to five, right? Because there are five in Darcy uh, in Tessa and number of chars in Darcy equals and then that will also be equal to five 
So let's test that out now. I'm going to clear the console and then I'm going to save control S my program. And I'm going to run it. All right, so it prints everything that we would have expected, right? If you watched the, and understood the last video. But now you'll see in the variable explorer, I have these three variables, number of chars Amanda, and that's equal to six. So I can operate on that now. I can say like, you know, five times what, or you know, whatever, five times number of chars Amanda, and that's equal to 30, of course. And then in, um, in the variable explorer, I see the number of chars Darcy is equal to five, and the number of chars Tessa is equal to five. So that's pretty cool. Like the function returned something to me. It gave me something back. And without this return statement, like, let me comment that out. All right, without that, I cannot, I cannot uh, do this. So I'm just going to demonstrate that to you. I'll clear everything, and I'm going to reset those variables. Okay, and I'm going to run my program. And you'll see something interesting here that I don't want to get two into but you'll see you'll see the variables are defined okay there they are in the variable explorer but they're of type none type none type and the value is none type so um, what that's saying is my function didn't re really return anything it returned none <laughs> um, I, like I said I don't want to get too much into that but the point is uh, that the number of characters in the name is not there, right? It's not storing what you think it should be storing. And to do that, we need to uncomment. We need to return the length of the name. So again, let me control S that and then run that. And there, there they are again, right? So that's, that's really cool. Um, and uh, I think that's all I wanted to say about the outputs. And we'll have more to say about functions in uh, pr uh, the next video. So thank you very much.